This is the story of Loretta Lamb, as told by Peepon Eat. Long ago, not so very far away, in a private little meadow tucked between three rocky hills, a large flock of sheep lived and ate and slept happily almost forever, until one spring day. Every morning before sunrise, one big father sheep would nudge each of his little children. He would wake them up so they could all watch the sun sneak over the three rocky hills. Today, everyone got up, except Loretta. Dad, I want a boyfriend, said Loretta. Boy, did her dad's ears perk up. Loretta, he said, why do you want a boyfriend? Gee, Dad, I just kind of get bored doing the same old thing. If I had a boyfriend, we could do things together. Yeah, fun things, like we could go on a date. Hmm, I've never been on a date. Maybe he would even take me out to dinner, she said. Loretta, her dad said, I can see that we need to have a good long talk. You know, Loretta, ever since the day you were born, when our shepherd first let me in the stall to see you, I have always tried to take good care of you. Loretta interrupted, I know you always take good care of me, Daddy, but what does that have to do with the boyfriend? Well, honey... When our shepherd told me that it would be up to me to protect you, I took that very seriously. Someday I want you to marry a wise, loving ram and raise a wonderful family. There are a lot of sheep who may look good on the outside, but they might not really love you. So, I would like to meet every sheep who ever asks you for a date. That way I can help you see what they are really like, okay? Gee, Dad, Loretta replied, I'm not sure I understand you. Don't you think I can... Tell the sheep from the goats. Ha ha ha. Her dad finished by saying this. It may sound funny, dear, but there are a lot of things a father can tell about a ram that a sweet girl like you might never see. Now go play and don't forget what I said. So Loretta hurried off to the other side of the field to eat some of the morning clover. It was always better while the dew was still on it. Meanwhile, on the ridge, someone else was thinking about food and how he might like a little lamb for breakfast. It was that old brute, Wally the Wolf. I wonder what kind of no-good meanness he's up to. Wally had his eye on the clover patch, too, only he wasn't interested in the clover. Wally returned to his cave with a mean, no-good idea. He opened up a trunk that had been stored for years. There it was near the bottom, the very thing Wally had in mind. It was an old sheepskin rug. Wally thought to himself, great, a little sewing, a good cleaning, and this will work just fine. So Wally quickly went to work sewing and mending till he had an authentic sheepskin coat, except it looked more like a sheep than a coat. With his disguise on, Wally was a reasonable imposter. Well, at least when he looked in the mirror, he got hungry all over again. Wally walked quietly past the barn and out into the clover field, where Loretta was lying in the soft clover. She watched curiously as the honeybees darted between the flowers. Meanwhile, Wally sneaked right up behind her. Hey, excuse me, sweetheart, he said, in the most handsome-sounding voice. Oh, who are you? asked Loretta. <laughs> Wally walked over beside her and said, Well, the guys here call me Joe, Joe Cool. Hey, you're a pretty cute-looking little sheep. Loretta stuttered. Well, I, I, uh, 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 do you really think I'm cute? Oh, man, Wally said, you're the greatest. I mean, you look so beautiful. You probably keep all the rams beating their heads together. Now, how about you and I going out to eat? You know, let's have ourselves a date. Seems obvious that what Wally has in mind. We can only hope that Loretta will recall her dad's advice. Loretta thought to herself for a moment it was so hard to think. No one had ever said such things to her before, and Joe looked like a very handsome ram. Loretta did manage to get these few words out. I, uh, I should go and tell my dad first. He might worry about me, she said. Well, Wally began, if you're not old enough to take care of yourself, then I will have to find another sheep who is a little more grown up. Loretta thought to herself, I always wanted a boyfriend and a real date. I would sure hate to lose this opportunity. Maybe no rams would ever be interested in me again. I'll do it! My dad's just old-fashioned. Joe, Joe, she yelled. 
I'd love to go. Wait, here I come. We'll have lots of fun. So Loretta, her eyes filled with romance, and her heart pounding with excitement, bounded off down the trail with Wally the wolf. It certainly looks as though Loretta's newfound freedom may prove to be a dish of bitter herbs. Wally was overjoyed at his cunning and apparent success. One thing he didn't notice while crossing through the fence is he snagged his sheep's coat and it was unraveling. When they arrived at Wally's cave, Loretta quietly said, Boy, this sure looks like a dark restaurant. Are you sure it's open? Wally quickly retorted, Of course, this is called the Dark Den. It's the most romantic place around. Let's go in. I'll find us some good seats. Here, Loretta, you sit up here on this nice little love seat. Wally laughed and continued, I'll turn on a little light so we can see what's cooking. Ha uh ha. -huh. Loretta's situation looked hopeless. Wally threw a few potatoes and carrots in with her and turned up the heat. Loretta cried desperately, but found her boyfriend Joe Cool was nothing more than, you guessed it, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Maybe her dad's old-fashioned ideas were not so bad after all. If only her dad were here now, his voice seemed to echo in her thoughts. There are a lot of sheep who may look good on the outside, but they wouldn't really love you. They wouldn't really love you. They wouldn't really love you. Loretta realized some very important things. She spoke softly as if to herself, or maybe to her dad and their shepherd. I was wrong for disobeying my father. His advice would have protected me from these awful consequences. If I ever get out of here, I will be the kind of daughter I should be. Well, things were awfully bleak in the dark den. Wally was sharpening his butcher knife and his stomach was growling louder than he was. Things were not dark all over. Someone had picked up a clue. Loretta's dad had been looking for her, and there, snagged in the fence, was a very suspicious thread. The shepherd pointed up the trail, and Loretta's father bolted through the gate. His feet hit the ground like flashes of light. He was on the way to Wally's house. The sheepskin thread led him up hills over rocks and through the open fields. I wouldn't want to be in Wally's shoes right now. I only hope Loretta's dad is not too late. Wally lifted the knife and reached for Loretta's head. But with the roar of thunder, Loretta's dad leaped into the room and placed his horns not so very gently in the middle of Wally's back. Loretta looked on with thankful wonder. The battle raged with kicking and growling. What would be the outcome of this gallant rescue? Well, it looks like our mean no-good wolf got put in his place. And now in a private little meadow, tucked between three rocky hills, a large flock of sheep live and eat and sleep happily, and one little sheep listens very carefully to her father. And every ram that looks her way is quickly sent to dad.